Hey everyone, welcome to this psychology lecture series. In this video, we are going to talk about Cyan test, which is a non parametric test. Some of the other non parametric tests are Wilcoxon sign test, Man Whitney test, Kruskal Wallis test, and Friedman rank test. In the last video, we saw about a parametric test. A parametric test is a statistical test in which specific assumptions are made about the population parameter. On the other hand, a non-parametric test is also a statistical test used in the case of non-metric independent variables. In a non-parametric test, the samples need not come from normally distributed populations. There are no assumptions about the shape of the population or value of its parameters in order to use the tests. Sign test is used to compare median of a population against some hypothesized value. Sign test of a population medium can be left tailed, right tailed or two tailed. Now let us take a look at an example to understand this sign test. At the 5% level test, the claim is that the data comes from a population with a median equal to 10. The claim made in this example is that the population comes with the median 10. If claim has equal to sign, then it makes the same as HO. HO is our null hypothesis, which is equal to 10, and our alternative hypothesis is HA that is not equal to 10. This is a two tailed test because the alternative hypothesis becomes not equal to, and not equal to is the symbol used in two tailed hypothesis. So, Taking our data set, there are 8 values in our data set. So, n equal to 8. This is called a sign test as we assume positive and negative values to these numbers. In our case, there are 2 positive and 6 negative. In case any of our data value has the value equal to 10, we have to cross it. In our case, 10 is our null hypothesis. Our data set has nothing like that. So moving on to the next step, let's calculate the S yes value. Our S yes value can be calculated by calculating the larger of two values that are the number of values that are bigger than our hypothesized median and those of which are smaller. Our data set has two values bigger than or greater than 10. So SB equal to 2 and our data set has six values smaller than 10 or lesser than 10. So our SS equal to 6. As the condition is to get the larger value of these two, 6 is the larger value and we are taking 6. Next, we have to calculate our p-value. To calculate p-value, we are taking this formula and here it's 2 times as it is a 2 tailed test. This can be written as 2 times the probability that a binomial random variable with p equals 0.5 and n equal to 8 is greater than equal to our s-value that is in our case is 6. We can also write this as 2 times 1 minus the probability x is less than or equal to 5. We always use p equal to 0.5 and in our case n equal to 8 and our k equal to 5. In our binomial table, we have to find where n equal to 8 and our p value is taken as 0.5. So the value corresponding to 0.5 and in our case, k equal to 5. So the value we need is found to be 0.855. So the probability that x less than or equal to 5 is found to be 0.855. So our value is 2 times 1 minus 0.855. That is calculated as 2 times 0.145. So we get our p value as 0.290 that is equal to 29% and our 
alpha value is 0.5 that is 5% which is less than our p value. So in this case we do not support null hypothesis and we do not reject alternative hypothesis. I hope you find this video useful. Please share these videos with everyone who is preparing for this exam and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.